Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today I just want to show you something real simple. A fella emailed me. He had the same finish as this, and uh, I guess his painter came and he caulked a bunch of cracks and they painted the house. And then you could see all the cracks because it was a, a caulking without sand or it wasn't textured. I'll show you a simple thing, guys. Okay, this has got a texture finish. It's actually a light dash. I'm going to use this more flex here, and this stuff is paintable. It says it stretches like rubber, looks like cement, um, repairs, seals. It's pretty good stuff. I've been using it for years on stuff like this. Now, because this has sand in it, it'll match the texture. Be sure, guys, if you're going to caulk to, do it early morning. It's early morning right now. And what I do, guys, is I generally I squeeze it inside get it all the way inside take the take it and make sure it squeezes in don't worry about a little bit of excess you want excess because you can float that right out or use your hand or a brush a float let me start this way okay you squeeze it all the way in there and again guys don't worry about the excess you want excess and you also want to do this first thing in the morning if this wall heats up this crack will disappear because the wall will expand so you only see these in the morning usually, unless they're really big, then you see them all the time. Anyway guys, you fill that stuff up and we're right here, just fill it. Now I'll show you how to blend this in guys. This is not really rocket science, it's actually quite simple. Say, if you're experienced you can use your, your, your hand or your glove. Just take your hand and just basically go like this. Now you see that texture coming out. <coughs> There's a texture coming out, so when this is painted, it, it'll match. The idea is, when it's painted, if you could see it, then the fella didn't know what he was doing when he caulked it. And yeah, they got all types of caulking these days. And this particular caulking is paintable. Some of the, uh, some caulkings aren't even paintable. They're uh, polyurethanes, uh, silicones, so you got to make sure it's paintable. In areas like this, if you're not sure, guys, grab a float. These, uh, they sell these all over the place. All it is is a sponge float. And this is water clean upable. So a float's not going to hurt it with water one bit. In fact, if you just hit it light and hit it flat all the way across, just kind of go in circular motions, you can get it just as evenly as if you're using your hand. If you want it even more textured, again, use the, the old magic glove. There you go, guys. And by the way, too, one last thing. If it shrinks up on you, say like right here, I pushed it in too hard, put some more on it and try again. Not the end of the world, guys. I've had to do this quite a few times where it didn't put enough or it just pushed in the crack. That's okay. Now what we want to do is just give a little bit of excess, excess film, and try it one more time. And the float actually brings out the sand in stucco, so it makes sense it will bring out the sand or this texture in this caulking. So if you've got a finish like this, guys, make sure your painter, or if you're doing it, make sure you've got a textured sand. Anyhow, guys, quick, quick fix, quick tip, just answering a question a fella uh, sent me online. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastery and Jason on the camera. And as usual, we'll see you on the next quick fix. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.